All right, you guys, so it is February the 13th, 2022, and I am in the process of making yogurt popsicles. So what I use is I use Swerve, the ultimate sugar replacement. And if you haven't um, researched this, especially if you have diabetes, it's definitely diabetes friendly, if you will. Measures just like sugar. And you can go on their website, swerve.com. I use unsweetened almond milk. There's a total difference between sweet and unsweetened almond milk. And so I like it plain and I can add my sweetener, my own sweetener to it. So it does come in sweetened um, form, if you will. And so I will also use plain, simple truth, lo low fat yogurt, strawberries, frozen strawberries. Get these from the dollar store, you guys. Um, frozen strawberries and I think the bag size maybe 10 ounces it looks like 10 ounces and here is just I don't measure a lot um, I just added shoot I don't know maybe a half container of the plain yogurt probably not even a half of it and some milk maybe about a half a cup to a cup put some frozen strawberries in it blended in our blender and right now what I'm doing is I'm cutting up some strawberries and you know how when in the package of strawberries when you get those strawberries that are kind of soft already. So I'm going to use a portion of that, those strawberries for my strawberry yogurt popsicles and I will be making some chocolate ones. I use cacao 100% and I will do pretty much the same thing. I'll do yogurt, add yogurt, almond milk, cacao, swerve and uh, mix that blend that all together at and and just pour it in and let it freeze typically they say about four hours when you're making popsicles but it's best overnight and if i can right now the time it is about about 351 it looks like on our stove and so if we're talking about four hours that's going to be till eight o'clock and, and sometimes it's usually when we have our nighttime snack snack so that's why i'm kind of getting these done because i got some other stuff to do for our Super Bowl Sunday. And so again, here is my strawberry and you can see it's pretty mixed, if you will. And then um, cut strawberries to give it kind of that strawberry taste. And I love these popsicles. So I'm already starting. It's warmer, it's getting warmer here in, Ohio, in Oregon. I was gonna say Ohio. In Oregon, it was 57 degrees today. Um, but the sun, as you know, does wonders. It can add like another 10 or 20. But this is a simple recipe, um, something that, you know, popsicles, who doesn't love popsicles? You get your probiotics, you get the milk, the dairy, um, you also get um, the sweetener, strawberries, whole fruits, and again, less than five ingredients. What is this? One, two, three, four, if you will. And then, uh, did I count right? One, two, three, four, five, five ingredients there. So five ingredients or less. And that's how I make my popsicles. So I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you're having a fabulous Super Bowl Sunday. And just enjoy your day, your restful day. All right, talk to you guys later.